Hey guys, Jimmy Vegas here, and today we are taking a look at an asset in the Unity Asset Store called Ancient Breakable Pottery. Now, I have actually used this asset in one of my tutorial series um, previous to this. I think it was the Survival Horror one. So I already do have a little bit of experience using this. And actually, I really, really like this asset. So it comes with a demo scene, and you guys know I always love a demo scene. Um, so we can see that the pottery itself comes in the actual full vases, vases, however you pronounce it. I don't think it makes a difference. And also the shattered pieces themselves. You can see here this one is kind of cobbled together. We can see, yep, it's all perfect. It's there, but you can see the breakages. Quality-wise, it's a very nice asset considering it's free. Slightly low quality on the textures, but that doesn't really mean a lot because you could retexture yourself, you know, play around with it. For example, you could play around with the normal maps and just do, you know, do that if you wanted to, give them that kind of weird, gruesome effect, I guess. Um, but again, that's down to the own, your own customization of what you do with the asset afterwards. So quality wise, yeah, it's not too bad for a free asset. Quantity, you get exactly what uh, it tells you. You get some vases and you get some broken ones as well. Obviously, you can do what you want with it. You can, for example, if we press play, we can see that this vase is exactly what it needs to be. Yep, that's all good and well, fine. So you could break it if you wanted to. You could do whatever else you needed to. You could add, you know, um, colliders onto there if you wanted to. So let's add a mesh collider, convex it, and let's add a rigid body just because we can. And let's just see what happens because that is the versatility of this asset. There you go. So if you were breaking it, you could do exactly that. That's awesome, no problem whatsoever. So the same would apply for every part of you know everything here. You could just apply colliders and a rigid body and just make it fall apart, pretend you were shooting it or something. Uh, extras wise, well, there's not much in the way of extras. There's this little wood texture that you get right here i guess that's neither here nor there to be honest it's it's just for display for the scene so not much in the way of extras usefulness i think it's probably quite useful in a lot of games depending on what you're creating obviously if you're creating some kind of i don't know colorful magical world maybe not quite gonna fit in with your game but on the other hand you know it's your game at the end of the day so i think these probably fit in to quite a lot of different games even if you're not after the breakable side of it, just the vases themselves might come useful, all these plates. So I, th I think you'll probably find a use for quite a bit of this. As we've said, price-wise is free. Package is 7.5 megabytes, so it's relatively small. It's a good size, what you're getting. But I think that's just down because the um, actual textures themselves may be a little bit low quality. But as I said, that's neither here nor there. I wouldn't worry about that too much at all. So yeah, usefulness, really good. Folders all laid out really neatly. We get everything there, the prefabs, textures, models, even that demo scene that I like. Yeah, it's all pretty good. So as you guys know, I don't rate assets. I either recommend them or I don't recommend them. And I think I'd probably recommend this asset. You're gonna find some kind of use for it. Even if you want to experiment with breakable objects, then I'd recommend this, play around with this. I, th I think you're gonna learn something if you're experimenting with breakable objects. So yeah. I'd recommend this asset. So guys, have you used this asset yourself? Have you had an experience? If you have, let me know in the comments what you think of it. And if you've got an asset on the asset store yourself, let me know as well in the comments. Uh, I'd love to check it out. Don't forget, click subscribe, click the bell icon as well. Stay up to date with everything I've got on video game development on my channel. And guys, thank you very much for watching.